guys. It is Sunday and my mom and I are going to be going to the Antique Mall in Appleton. I've been here several times before. I think I came here with you once. Okay. And then I went, was this the road that they Van wanted Dyke, me to take? Yes. Yeah, Van Dyke. Um, and I've been here before with my youngest daughter. Um, but I just wanted to see what they had. You know, I'm not really looking for anything in particular with the exception of possible, no, was it this way? Was it one up? Shit, I should have kept it. I think it's, uh, I can't remember. Anyway, I'm looking, oh no, I think oh, I want right. to follow, yeah, Van yeah. Dyke. Um, anyway, I'm looking for possible like old school perfume bottles. You know those ones where they have like the little um, puffy thing where you squeeze it? You know what I'm talking like about? Like my grandma hand. Yeah. Yes. So we'll hands. see. I don't know. And we're not going to be able to get through it all today because the antique mall is huge. There's two different sides to it. I can't remember what side my daughter and I went on the last time we were here. But I always said I was going to go on the other side and then I end up going on the same side whenever I go. So we will see what they have. But yeah, I was going to show you guys the back of it real quick where you park. I want to say it's over here. Isn't um, Saturn? Wasn't, remember the Saturn store? Oh, they're out. They don't even Wait, sell was that Saturn's, it? Shit. Saturns are gone. Oh no, it's up here. Isn't that crazy? And everyone had a Saturn. Like they were super, oh, yeah. they were super popular. We all had Saturns. My friends had Saturns. <laughs> well, it's like the VW shut down. We all Beatles. had Saturns. Oh, here we go. So here it is. It's like two different pods basically. And it's busy because on the weekends they're pretty busy, but just wait for a parking spot here. This person is coming out, I think. Um, yeah, and we will see what we find. No, I don't think so. So they've got the left and the right. So unfortunately, I have to do a voiceover on this because there was extremely loud music playing in the background, but that's okay. I kind of figured that I was going to be doing a voiceover anyway. So we decided to go to the left of the store first. Ooh, there's some Beanie Babies. Uh, we weren't really sure, you know, we didn't really have like a rhyme or reason. We were just going to like walk through, see what we could find. My mom pointed out these boots saying that her aunt had these boots. I'm pretty sure that these boots are probably older than than that um I'm thinking like Little House of the Prairie but she seemed to think that my aunt had these boots so I just went with it um again I'm looking for the perfume bottles um anything that's glass purple I'm kind of into it I don't know uh, we found some very odd things, some very funny things, some very beautiful things. I wasn't sure if these were perfume bottles. I was looking for the ones that had, you know, that squeeze little puff at the end of it. But those are pretty and pretty expensive. Um, and this store, you guys, it's just like jam-packed, filled with things. So... You definitely miss, you know, a lot of stuff walking through. There's, you know, no real like distinct, like go down this way and swerve around this way, you know, like that you can see everything. I just, I feel like if you turn the wrong way, you're going to miss it. And that's kind of what happened to me looking back at all this stuff. So there was Elvis, there was a fish, some local pottery that they had put in there. Um, and yeah, I was just kind of looking around now. If you look close, you will see <gasps> the peacock, the wooden peacock. I'm so mad that I missed that. I'm so mad 
There's a mushroom. I pan back though and I can see it again and I just, I completely miss it. I would have looked at the price. Look at it there. And I, I even zoomed in over here and I would have probably bought it because um, that was kind of cool. But my mom said that she really liked that mirror up there. It was super expensive. Then they had these creepy Halloween masks that were kind of cool, but creepy, creepy at the same time. Here we have some bottles and things. I don't know. I wish they kind of like organized it. I understand that everything goes by like per booth. That thing was on clearance for $20. It's kind of pretty. But yeah, I know they go like by booth, but it's just like if you're looking for a specific thing, you really have to hunt for it. But I guess that is the name of the game, you know, when you're when you're doing antique stuff. Here we have a paperweight for almost $10. I don't know why I'm drawn to paperweights, Fenton, what else? Perfume bottles, um, like beautiful ceramic trays that you can put your perfume bottles on, which I didn't find any of those this time. So upsetting. But here we have some glass pieces kind of trying to get into the nooks and the crannies of this place. Um, it's just, like I said, hard to see everything. There we've got some Pyrex, I believe those were, some Pyrex uh, dishes. Although, oh, and here's another paperweight, the world's. It's the world. You always want to, you know, put it upside down, see if you can find a marking on there. This one was $13.99. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, there's my mom pointing down to other things. And oh, the glass, the glass slipper. So we used to have a bunch of, well, my grandmother used to have glass slippers. I don't know where they went. I'm sure my mom lost them from move to move. But um, yeah, you'll see in a little bit here, I find another glass slipper. So there is a Fenton, $18, not too bad, really pretty. I just love the look of them. My grandmother also had some of those. God only knows where they are. Um, they probably broke as well. There's some more Pyrex dishes and bowls. Um, not any in really pretty colors. I really like finding the pink ones. Uh, and the the baby blue ones and the like teal green but they didn't have any of those interesting mug and now my mom found a bank for my sister because my sister likes putting coins like in things um she was gonna get that but then she decided not to get that I'll show you guys what she got at the end of this video here she picks up the Statue of Liberty. Oh, wait. Before that, these are some antique um, ashtrays. But she picks up the Statue of Liberty and she said, oh, my God, it's so heavy. It's so heavy. Um, and then we, we find all the banks. Now, if you guys remember back in the day, if you're as old as me, banks were super popular, especially Disney banks. Uh, Disney banks, the cartoon banks, all that kind of stuff. It was all super popular, the banks. Um, as you can see, there's a Smurf up there. Um, there's Kermie. And yeah, everyone had a bank in like their favorite character. Like if you didn't know what to get someone for their birthday, well, you got them a bank. <laughs> um, but here she's looking at Kermie and she was going to pick him up. And I think she did. Yeah, she decided not to get him. Um, but they were like around $20 a piece, between $15 to $20 a piece. I think that big boy one was probably more because of the fact that it came in its original packaging. There's the McDonald's mugs. I do remember getting those mugs. Um, you could buy a set if you wanted to. You just had to purchase something at McDonald's, like with any purchase, you can buy this mug for like two dollars or whatever. Um, but yeah, we used to have those. I don't know what happened to those either. 
obviously they probably got junked. Oh, and here, as you pan, as I pan down, I notice that there is a Pyrex um, rolling pin. I don't know if you guys saw that. I'm like noticing things as I'm watching this video and getting upset because I didn't notice them <clears throat> in the store and I'm noticing them here and it's upsetting to me, but I'll just have to go back. Like I said, there were so many things shoved in like each and every little corner that it was just impossible to see everything. So here I'm just kind of looking around, you know, wondering what I'll find. Some beautiful plates. I'm not real sure what those are called. If you guys are antiquers, leave a comment down below. But it felt like those um, glass things or whatever they were, ceramic, that they were like super easy to break. They were very, very fragile. Here I found a box. It looks like for stamps maybe or something. I don't know. And I believe it was from Florida, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Tampa, Florida. Kind of interesting little finds. Here, I thought those were perfume bottles, but I don't think they were. I think they were like oil bottles. Oh, and then I found this incense burner that was this Buddha guy and I'm, or monk maybe. I'm super upset I didn't get them for my daughter. I didn't quite understand. Do you put, do you put the stick part in the hole or like the, the end that you light in the hole? I was a little bit confused about that. Anyway, um, here are some vases. Super pretty. I really like the color of those. And we found this tin box from England. Um, I have an original tin box from England um, that was in my mom's basement that I actually took because I knew that she was getting rid of stuff and it was gold and black. And I still have it to this day. I put pictures and memorabilia in there. So I'm sure it'll be worth something one day. Here I'm just kind of panning through, looking all the different things. There's just so many different things to look at. So many different like different types of booths, like some were toys. Oh, we had this picture or I had this picture. I donated it. It wasn't framed in that specific frame, but it was in a frame nonetheless. Or maybe my mom has it. I don't know. I can't remember. But it's supposed to be baby Jesus, I think. I don't know. It looks like a baby Jesus. Um, Here we just have some odds and ends, kitchen, you know. Oh, and this lamp was so pretty. I've never seen a lamp like that before. These ones, I have seen the glass. But yeah. And look at the Wrangler pants. Oh my God. These are like classic 70s Wrangler pants that you would see your dad out in the backyard cooking on the grill. Ugh, that was like, they take me back. Here we have some more things. I just felt like I was getting a little dizzy too because you just didn't really know where to walk. Oh, and here was this owl. It was so expensive, but like such a dramatic piece. It was really pretty. And he was not moving on the price. It said like, you know, it was a set price. There's some more Beanie Babies. This was really pretty. That purple bag that was all glass. I was thinking about getting that as well, but ended up not. I thought, what would I do with it? Where would I put it? Some crucifixes. Jesus dying on the cross. Marble collection. Everyone used to have a marble collection. It's a Gerber girl. Although I don't remember Gerber looking like that. There's some Star Wars stuff. And these I thought were super cute. I don't know. I was drawn to them. You know, like how sometimes you're just like walking, you know, in an antique store and you just get like drawn to things. Oh, and look at, I found a beautiful purple boot. I was going to buy it and then I put it back. I was definitely drawn to this. 
And I really, now I'm like kicking myself for not getting it because I should have gotten it. But yeah, I put it back, unfortunately. Here's all of the little egg holders. Really pretty. And then I do like this type of blue glass here. I don't know if this is called milk glass. I think it might be milk glass. I don't know. But I know like I've seen it in teal before as well. Some purses. Oh, and here I found some perfume bottles. Um, The birds, the birds, the birds. Those are perfume bottles. Those are like antique ones. Um, if those were purple, I honestly, I would have bought them, excuse me, because my bedroom theme is purple and yeah, I would have gotten those, but I just, I didn't really care for the blue. Um, and there was already some liquid in there. God only knows what was in there. My mom was pointing out this box. Now see, she was drawn to that box. So I don't know. Maybe there's like a spirit or something in certain items. Oh, and here we have some um, antique sun catchers. I thought those, like some of it was new, some of it was antique-y. But yeah, I thought those were really pretty. Interesting pieces with the glass. And I really like the purple one with the blue in the middle. Here we have a lamp. It's kind of interesting. And look at this girl. She's definitely the 60s girl. She knows what she wants out of life and she's going to get it. I've got some other things. Oh, and this was an interesting, like weird thing. Okay, so Victoria's Secret, really weird bag. It's like, and, and her, and her. God only knows what she was doing. Here we have some Flava Flav. Did you see that? The little Flavor Flav stuff. Love that. Just some tidbits of odds and ends and bits and bobs. I thought these were little perfume bottles, but I don't know what they were. And I wasn't going to stay in that corner long enough to find out. <laughs> it was just, like I said, a little overwhelming for me. So we're walking. We found some church pews. They were double-sided. Um, last time I came here, I showed you guys the um, the buggies. They have buggies on display here. They're not for sale, just to look at. But yeah, the church pews were kind of interesting. And oh my God, you guys, my Ewoks. I used to have like two Ewoks this size and a smaller size. I don't know what happened to them, but oh my God, this was how I came to like Shih Tzu's because, oh, and it was $68 because I honestly feel like the Ewoks do look like a Shih Tzu that has not been groomed recently, right? So here we have the Raisinets, the Trolls, the Smurfs. The My Little Ponies. And who is she? I don't remember that one. Anyone in the comments? Leave a comment down below. Let me know. This plate set was going for $20. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. But it was for the whole plate set. So it probably was a good deal. Here we have just some interesting little pieces. They were also selling like all the furniture that all the pieces were on, but that would be for a totally different day. Like, I mean, I can't even imagine going through all this stuff. It would literally take somebody a week to go through everything that they had here. Here's another little keepsake box. thought that that was kind of cute. I just like the detail on the outside of it. And then we have more Fenton for $75. Oh my God, you guys, that's pretty expensive. Okay, guys, we are finished. Didn't really find like too many things that I was looking for per se, but I did pick up this sun catcher because I just wanted something for my window. It's like purple, green, you can kind of see when the light catches it and it's supposed to be antique I don't know but that was only five dollars so 
So I got that, and then let's see what you got. For the Easter basket. I'm this way. Oh, I don't know what, I don't There want we go, there it. we go. See, and then my mom got some banks uh, for my sister. This one is an old, old school Tweety. Super, super cute. It says, trust me, I won't tell. And of course, it's on the telly. Let me, she'll wrap that back up. And then she just got one more. You guys, the sun came out today and it's so nice outside. I'm probably gonna get the dogs outside a little bit when I get home. And then she got Miss Piggy. Oh my God. So yeah. And it's a, these are banks. I don't know if I said that or not. These are banks. Um, so her slit is in the back there. For some odd reason, I this looks like oddly familiar to me. And I don't know why. Huh. Anyway. So yeah. Now we're going to go back home. I'm going to um, keep on drinking my water. And relax for the rest of the day. I hope you guys have a good day. And we will see you later. Bye, everyone.